What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Tony D2 Wild, checking in once again. Tony Digital bringing back another 4K visual. Back at it like a motherfucking pussy at it, man. Today with a very special vid. Today's video is on a very serious topic at hand, man. That is the Adidas hype officially dead. I got two boxes in today. One from Adidas and the other one from Sample Industries. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get into the Sample Industries first. Then we're gonna get to the Adidas one right here and we're gonna get into this little topic that I wanted to speak about and really voice my opinions and then hear your guys' opinions in the comment section. So without further ado, man, let's get straight into it and let's get this first one out the way. Now this is something right here that is brand new. This is my first time actually even seeing this in total completion, sample pair. And uh, oh my God, this might be something that may be released a little bit later now. It was supposed to be something a part of the spring drop. However, due to the fact that it's getting a little bit hot, it may be something that's pushed to the fall season. But if you guys really want it, we'll make it happen. If you don't know, we already released the denim jackets that sold out crazy, 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 crazy. And me and Bull, we bounce our ideas one off one, to one, uh, one another, you know what I'm saying? Like he'll design some stuff, I'll design some stuff, we'll come together and design some stuff, and we go back and forth, back and forth. And that's how the brand usually works, and that's why we've been doing so well, you know, lately, because we've just been, you know, letting one time, well, he'll take one, one design, I'll take one design, so we like can balance our thought process, and it just makes things run really smoothly. I made the denim collection that had just recently dropped out, uh, drops had dropped out, they dropped, I uh, did really well, you guys loved it, we loved it, and now Bull went another step ahead, and he's brought out the motorsport denim jacket. Now this, uh, well, now this is not a denim. This is more like a khaki or canvas. It's a like a. It's not the denim material, but it's like the cotton twill material. And it says all cars, no brakes, buttons on deck with the zipper down the middle, checkered out, flames on the wrist, flames on the wrist, embroidered, and then on the back here. Sample Motorsports. So this is a very, very dope piece. This is my first time actually seeing this in real life. Bull, once again, killed it, you know what I'm saying? So you guys, man, if you guys want this piece, y'all need to definitely spam the Twitter at Sample IND. Spam them, let them know you want this to release ASAP. You don't wanna wait. Now, if you don't spam it, we'll just drop it in the fall time and we'll give you, you know, better pictures and stuff as the days come forward, but this shit is dope. Well, you did your, you did your job on this, man. Salute to you on that. So this is something that we're working on right here. So the next item is from Adidas, from Yeezy Supply. You already know what it is now. Just buy that, you know what it is. But I wanted to talk about it because this release was like no other. It was like no other. I made this topic a couple months ago, last year, during my Australia stay, and it really got under a lot of people under Nike skin about, you know, a Nike like kind of slack and that Adidas was taking over. And now the tables have turned, I feel, in some sort of way. I feel like the hype behind Adidas is slowly dying out. The same way that Nike was sitting behind retro models of Jordans and stuff like that, I starting to believe now that Adidas, is, is, it's time for them to catch that new wave. They're sitting behind the Yeezy so much, the Yeezy brand. You know, they try to do their things here and there with the Pharrells and that thing works and it's doing pretty well. But the Yeezy Calabas just recently dropped. And uh, it took like so much. When you when you when you cop on Adidas, it comes on Wednesday. When you cop a Yeezy Supply, they always take like seven thousand years. I don't know what the ordeal with that is, but uh, it, it, it's they need to fix that shit. Y'all need to y'all need to fix that Adidas or Yeezy Supply. We had the Yeezy Power Phase, Yeezy Calabas. I don't I, I always say the shit wrong. Okay, so I don't really don't give a damn. Is it Calab is it Calab is Calabasa, Calabasas, Calabasas. Um, this is the all black version, and I honestly, these are nice to me. They, I don't, don't get me wrong, they look dope. They, they're clean, they're clean. They are very, very regular. They look like Reeboks, I already, you know, done, spoke my whole opinion on it. This is my third pair, I have the cream. I have, I have all three colorways. I wanted to add this one to the collection just for that one purpose, but also because black is not that bad. But these things sat on the website, everybody could get their hands on it, and I don't think that there were just many pairs. I think that just the hype and the demand for them have dropped. It is what it is. I mean, we've seen it over and over now with the Yeezy V2. The prices are dropping. The Yeezy 300, the prices are dropping. And 750s haven't dropped in such a long time. But pretty much the resale on the Yeezy as a brand has dropped significantly. You could make a couple hundred, maybe 100, 200 
but you're not making what you used to make. They're not going for the thousand dollars. And I don't know if that's just the more and more pairs of just colorways releasing has dropped driven the demand down or people are just not willing to spend that money. But I overall think that the hype is dying. Hype in general is just dying. Not sneakers, but just the hype beast epidemic that we've been through for the past couple of months now. Supreme, you know, off white, Yeezy. They've all suddenly started to decrease, but the main people that were there from the get-go are still there. It's just this wave of people that came just to join the bandwagon and then they left the bandwagon onto the next thing, whether it was Fortnite or uh, MILFs. I don't know what it was, you know what I'm saying? But that's my main topic of discussion. I wanted to hear what you guys' thoughts and opinions on what it is. Do you think this is a Nike thing? Do you think it's an Adidas thing? Do you think it's a sneaker thing altogether? I feel like, you know, Nike has stepped it up this year. They felt that pain from last year. Their releases are doing slightly better. I don't think they're making as many pairs, but I mean, things are not in stores as they used to be. You know, the Hyper Royal 13s, them things are not in the stores no more. I don't see the other 13s in stores no more. What other, there's other Jordans that released that I'm not seeing in the stores anymore. The 270s, the one, the Tiger ones, these joints, they're not in any stores. They are a little bit more online now, so I don't know if they have shifted that focus from in store to online, but I'm just not seeing stuff. Champs is not getting certain releases. Foot Action is not getting certain releases. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's getting harder and harder on the side of Nike now whereas Adidas it's really nothing it's not much of a difference or much of a change however you know the, the weirdness of their release time when they release a sneaker they usually just drop it out of nowhere or the release date just pops up out of nowhere whereas with Jordan it's really quick Nike's really quick you usually get sold out and you move on about your day with Adidas you gotta stay on the splash page for an hour so I don't know if it's just these things all together or what but there's definitely now a pressure on the side of Adidas I feel like and it's something for a topic of discussion. And I would like to hear what you guys' thoughts and opinions. I mean, I can't lie, this isn't the Yeezy Yeezy that we all know. This is the Yeezy Calabasas, which I feel like is basically the Pharrell's tennis human race, the Jordan brand's uh, Jumpman, the LeBron, uh, the Jordan man's flight, the LeBron soldier. It's like kind of like that for the Yeezy. So it's like uh, the lower quality or the lower, more quantity brand. And uh, that's maybe one reason, but this, I mean, same time, they all, they're all they always going to sell out. I feel like they will always sell out, but the demand is slowly dying out. And I don't know if these kids are growing up, because that's one of the main people that was jumping on it. But me personally, one thing also, I feel like Kanye is just not the Kanye that was sparking that that light for all these people. Like, the Kanye that the, that hype came from is not the same Kanye. He's just secluded. He's dying his hair, rainbow colors. He's, you know, he's just... It, the, I, it, some of you people will call it fashion, but I don't, I don't see him fully fashioned out. I feel like it's a sudden change in this him in general. And that's why I'm starting to like to push more for the human race because Pharrell's always keep, kept it clean. He's always doing some different shit. And he's always he's, he's out in the public, you know, in the public's eye. So I don't know. It's, it's a lot of stuff going on. These are the Yeezy, Yeezy Calabasas. You've seen them multiple times from different people. It's not really much to um, talk about. The leather quality is pretty much the same. The materials is pretty much the same. The black is somewhat of a faded black rather than a pitch black. And uh, like I said, the quality feels just like all t t the other two pairs I have. So nothing much of a difference. You've seen it once, you've seen it all. And uh, I don't know, I like them. They're cool, but at the same time, they do look like some janitor shoes. They do look like something that the lunch lady would be wearing. But I'm gonna funk it. I'm gonna do what I can do because I can do what the hell I can do at the end of the day, you feel what I'm saying? But I'd like to hear you guys' thoughts and opinions down below on the future of adidas they're not dying they won't die out same thing i said for nike they're gonna be people that are pissed off the nike the adidas people are gonna be pissed off but uh i feel like there's a shift that's occurring once again the easy i mean adidas is gonna have to do something you know they can't rely on the nmd they can't rely on the ultra boost they can't i mean it sounds bad me saying this because jordan has relied on their models for over 20 some years nikki why are you just staring at me for can I do this video? I saw you the whole time. What do you, can I, excuse you? Do you have anything you want to say? The hell you do to your hair? Turn it, turn. Oh. So yeah, I mean, I know it's kind of bad me saying that because Jordan 11's been out for, you know, 20 years now, or shit, 20, yeah, 20 years, and, and uh, they're still doing what they're doing, but I don't know, I just feel like, Get out of here, man. Go.
What, bro? Are you making fun of me, bro? I'm about to put the camera on you. That's not annoying. That's I'm doing a video and you're interrupting me. All right, when you're doing your video, I'm gonna come up in that room. You were you weren't recording. I'm recording. I'm live. I'm live right now. Guys, I'm sorry for this disruption, man. When you move in with your your girl, man, make sure you got it unlocked. They, they, something up with these Puerto Ricans. They just don't fall. They're disrespectful. Get out of here. But yeah, I mean, I, I I understand. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna you know I know I understand that part. The Jordan 11s, Jordan 10s, all that. That shit's been that recycled for years. But it's just slightly different when Adidas, man. They're just killing it with so many colorways of this and that. So I'm, I'm looking forward for the new thing. I do feel like there's gonna have to be a new. If they get Drake, I think that'd be a great thing. You know, I just feel like it's time for something new. Whether it's a new 750 V2, I think a V2 750 would just pop it off. Like that's what I want. I haven't had a pair. I, I don't have a pair of 750s in my collection, and that's what I've been wanting. So they gotta do something, bro. They gotta start thinking. They're smart over there. They're smart. They move fast. I just don't know what they're doing, what they're planning. They probably got something up their sleeve, but it is what it is. Let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions on these down below in the comment section. And uh, you know what is it? Is it is it done? Is it is the hype done? Let me know. Peace. Kid, I never figured I'd be here. Ain't no telling me where I can't go. Ain't had it all. Came from sleeping on the floor and shit. I'm late for class cause I'm out here smoking with the click. Yeah, that's the type of shit to make you think like, where you mind at? Look inside the lines of these rhinos, where you find that? Had to sit back, find myself.